How are you this morning? Doing good, better than yesterday. Amen. <laughs> There's an announcement last Friday, I guess, that there will be another uh, stay-at-home uh, guidelines. And uh, it will be for 21 days, three weeks. So it will be difficult for all the ministries, but... Uh, this is the uh, time that we're living in, so we need to adjust. Amen? But God is good. I was asked by uh, an employee before, I guess that was, uh, what, 15 years ago. It was a serious question. No? He went to my office and uh, he asked me, Sir, bakit ba ang damot ko? In English, sir, why am I stingy? I was surprised with that question because, I, I, to be honest, I, I never expected that somebody would come to you and just in a snap will ask you a question, sir, but ba damot ko? I answered him, di ko alam. <laughs> di ko naman talaga alam ang sagot. And uh, I was curious and uh, looked for answers in the Bible. And uh, it was part of my devotion like 15 years ago. And I was able to preach it in a church, in a, in a church that uh, invited me. For this morning, let's talk about giving. Look at the person next to you. If there's a person next to you <laughs> that is six feet, six feet apart. So thank you for all the workers, the humble servants of God who, who are uh, uh, faithfully coming here to uh, for us to have a production team for this uh, live Facebook and YouTube live stream. Anyway, tell the person next to you, giving. giving. But not just giving, but giving with generosity. I remember 15 years ago that I was able to preach you know, a certain topic like this, but not exactly, it's not exactly like this. But what I'm excited about this morning is that I will not preach so much using my lips in a sense that I'll be, you know, I, I, I kind of, really, when I preach, I, I wrote all the word for word, no? But this time, when I was writing this, it is less yung, yung, yung written form. What I'm excited about is that I'll be sharing a preaching that was done. A, a preaching that is not just written, but was done, actually. We have two life lessons for this morning. Number one, again, look at the person next to you. Sabihin sa kanya, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Yes. Is it true? Yeah. Amen. And number two, let us carry one another's burden. So, sabi mo sa atin mo, let us carry one another's burdens. Yan. Game na ba kayo? So, let's start with life lesson number one. In Acts 20.35, it was read before by Brother Bong, in every way, I've shown you that it is necessary to help the weak by laboring like this and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus. Because he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. No? Lalong lalo na sa boxing. <laughs> Kagabi naglaban si, si Mike Tyson at saka si Roy Jones Jr. It was an exhibition fight no? for a charity cause. No? And uh, seeing them in their mid-50s, out of shape, but uh, they, they still, you know, you know have the, they still have this groove and uh, yung stance nila okay pa rin. So, entertaining. Uh, anyway, may joke nga, giving, you know, it is better to receive than to give. Lalo na sa boxing. Uh, we recently celebrated Thanksgiving last Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving sa inyong lahat. And uh, when you look at the word 
thanksgiving, it comprises of two words actually, thanks and giving. But to be honest, no, there will be no thanking kung wala mo nang giving. Right? Kasi pwede mo bang makasalubong si Sister Fe? Sister Fe, thank you ha. Sabi ni Sister Fe, saan? Wala lang, trip ko lang. There must be a reason why you're thinking, right? So thanksgiving, because there's a process, no, there must be a giving first before there will be a thanking. So in thanksgiving, no, as we celebrated here in the U.S., no, kasi meron nagbigay. And then may recipient. And there is this gratefulness in our hearts. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be generous in your giving. Do not just give. No? Do not just give. Be generous. No? Pakibulongan. Huwag kang makunat. <laughs> because God is not stingy, right? Imagine nyo kung si Lord is stingy. Oh my goodness. We will be all living a miserable life. Right? Imagine if God is stingy. No, sa Tagalog, makunat. Teka, linawin lang natin. Ang mga Ilocano, ha, hindi yan, hindi yan, hindi yan makunat. Ha? Ano sila? Frugal. Matipid. Kasi may pinaglalaanan sila. Sa isang university in the Philippines, pinakamalaking population lagi Ilocano. Because they send their kids, no? kahit farmer pa yan from Ilocos, they will send their kids sa Manila to study in college. No, frugal sila. Hindi sila makunat. Yung makunat, alam nyo? O ano? Yung barat, yung stingy, meron na, pero hindi naglalabas. Right? Na experience yun ba na sumakay ka ng ship? Then, somebody came along, nakakilala mo? No? And usually, ugali natin mga Pinoy, bubunod tayo, ah, ako na magbabayad. Right? Following day, nakita mo uli siya, ah, ako na magbabayad. Di ba? Kasi alam mo yung tao, maaaring, naku, wala ang wala ito eh, siguro makatulong ako. Ito, ako na magbabayad. Pero there come a time na meron na siya, may trabaho na siya, maganda na ang buhay. Pag ikaw pa rin nagbabayad, at ikaw naman libre, yun yung stingy. <laughs> right? Ibig sabihin, meron ka, pero ayaw mong i-release. Nakuha natin. So, our God is a generous God. Right? and benevolent in His ways. We are called to imitate His generosity in our lives. Yun yung calling natin eh. Kasi one good thing about our God is He will exemplify it first no, as a role model and then He will ask us, no, come, copy me, imitate me. And one of the good characteristics of God is His generous. Is a generous giver. He's not just a giver, but a generous giver. Kaya, wag mo sabihin na, oh, be a giver. No. Be a generous giver. We must be clear in observing that Jesus wasn't saying that the recipient of generosity are less blessed. No, 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 no. no? Let's, let's be clear with this. No? If you're the recipient, you're not the less blessed. Let's make it clear that if you're the recipient, if you're the giver, and the Lord Jesus Christ, lahat kayo blessed. When you give, you were able to bless the heart of the recipient. The recipient, when you, uh, when you give, you were able to bless your heart. And the most significant of all is that when you give, you will be able to bless the heart of God. Again, we must be clear in observing that Jesus was in saying that the recipients of generosity are less blessed, but rather, we should be a people who lean more toward helping others, less toward selfish gain. We have a selfless God. Amen? Imagine, He gave His life for us for the forgiveness of our sins. Ewan ko ba naman kung meron pang mas matinding selflessness doon. You see, Itong sinasabi nating generosity, no, might be in the form of money. No? For example, if you are a person who, who uh, donated from our last relief uh, operations in the Philippines, you used money. 
no? Of, uh, as you exemplify, as you manifest being a generous giver. Or it might be simply through giving generosity of your time, efforts, and labor. Those people who partnered with us in the Philippines, they gave their time, they gave their efforts, and they gave their labor. In fact, Compared sa binigay natin na $10, $20, $30, wala, mas malaki yung binigay nila. <laughs> right? It's not in the form of money, pero it's about time. It's about efforts. It's about labor. The point is less about the perfect form of generosity and more that we are being characterized more and more by generosity in our lives. Typhoon. Vamco, known in the Philippines as Typhoon, Typhoon Ulysses. It was a powerful and deadly Category 4 equivalent, no? Typho equivalent to sa Typhoon that struck in the Philippines, no? incurring the most damages caused by a Typhoon in the country. Not just in our country, but also in Vietnam. It is also a uh, caused the worst flooding in Metro Manila since Katsana in 2009, well, more locally known as Ondoy. You see, when we say typhoon, no, nag-drive na ba kayo kanina? Napansin ko, hindi ko, hindi ko napansin, mabilis yung manayon. Kasi Sunday, eh. nagulat ako, uy, mataas yung, ano, yung metro ko. Ah. Kasi 65 lang, di ba, sa freeway, sa 101. So medyo lumalagpas ako doon. Kasi napapaserap ako ng kwento at saka akala ko mabagal ako. Buti na lang may metro sinasabi sa'yo. Pero this typhoon, the highest wind speed is 132 miles per hour. No? It started in, uh, on November 8 hanggang November 15. No? It caused 73 deaths and 19 missing hanggang ngayon. Well, when, you, when we talk about typhoon, I am not uh, a stranger to a typhoon or flooding. No, I was born in Quezon City. We moved to Marikina when I was 10. We moved to San Mateo when I was 14. And uh, I experienced flooding. Not flooding na USD flood, na hanggang Baywang and uh, yung Spanya flood. Not that kind of flood. Flooding as in you cannot see yung bubong ng bahay niyo. Yun yung klase ng flooding na experience ko. Uh, I remember, I, I was able to cross a river to get the dog of our neighbor. No? Just to save that dog, I swam, at, I think, around ma half kilometer. Just to get that dog. Flooding no, in the late 80s is uh, worst. But imagine flooding in the 2020s. No? Mas matinde. Kasi before, hindi ko nakita yung flood ngayon, noong 1980s. And uh, experiencing flooding, you see, when I was uh, younger, I don't eat gulay or vegetables. I don't eat fish. Except ngayon, naturuan na ako ng misis ko eh. Kinakain ko na kahit ano ngayon, kaya kita nyo naman. Kita nyo naman sa katawan, sa ebidensya. Pero, no, I'm not, I, I don't eat fish, especially kapag ito ay paksiw. Pero ngayon, kumakain ako. I don't eat fish especially pag paksiw. Kasi ayoko yung amoy na suka. Here's the thing. No? Since we experience flooding, at we need to be evacuated from our house, and then we ano, na, 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 nakishelter kami doon sa kapitbahay. And syempre, pag mga magandang loob, they, they gave us uh, dinner. And the dinner is, guess what? Paksiw. Eh, hindi ako makain ng paksiw. Pero since gutom na gutom na ako, never pa ako makain, like for the entire day, that was the best meal of my life. <laughs> Naubos ko ata, pati, pati, yung, na, ano eh, pati yung mga tinik eh, sa sobrang gutom. That's why I know kung ano yung pakiramdam ng binaha. Na-experience ko kasi. Kung baga, hindi to kwentong barbero dahil na-experience ko talaga siya. Now, I remember, after the flood, nung Ondoy, 
uh, my my parents and then my 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 nephews and nieces were need to be evacuated on top of the bubong, no, and stay there for about I don't know overnight or whatever, because hindi sila rescue, no. And then we we left our house kasi walana sirana. Pero nandung pa imbay pero sirana. Then we transferred to another house sa kabilang subdivision. Pero after ito recently lang tinamaan pa rin. So, lubog la, yung buong bahay namin, and then lahat, yung TV, nakalutang, basag-basag, everything. So, totally wala. Pagbalik nila, at least may binalikan pa silang bahay, <laughs> pagbalik nila, nilinis nila, after three days, kahit papano, nakalinis na yung kapatid ko, tumulong yung mga kaibigan ko. And then, uh, nag-uusap kami magkapatid, I told her na, kamusta yung kapitbahay natin? So, sabi niya, up to now, four days na. No, they're still... Uh, sleeping, hindi na dun sa basketball court kasi nag-overflow na eh. Doon na sa daan. No? And then, she took some pictures, pinakita niya sa akin. No, my, my sister is not a born-again Christian or whatever. She's a Catholic. No? Pero she has a heart for you know, helping people. I told her that after you finish cleaning up, why don't we do something and uh, cook some rice meals? Like 50, 50 50 packs or whatever. At least, makatulong tayo. Then we decided to make it 100 packs. Mas madali, hot silog. Hot dog, sinangag, itlog. No? So, we decided to do that. And then, eventually, I shared it to our group. And I, I didn't share it to, to, to our Facebook page because we don't want to uh, attract attention. And, you know, kasi sa panahon ngayon, madaming scammers, they will copy your Facebook page they will copy your Facebook account and they will ask the same money and then it will go to their bank. So we don't do that. So we just share it to the, our community, the sa ating, uh, small LA Filnas, uh, friends of LA Filnas. And some responded. So I was challenged. I converted my garage as a command center. Kasi, tandahan nyo, maga doon, gabi dito. So we started uh, uh, planning ano yung bibilin, na malengke, hindi pala madali, mahirap. So, na malengke, and then nag-repacking, and then distribution, naganap na sasakyan. So, mahirap siya. Ang pinakamahirap, wala kang pondo. <laughs> Di ba? And then, I share it to our group. No? And nobody responded. Yun ang pinakamahirap. <laughs> Pero one person responded agad. Kaya sabi ko, tutuloy ko pa ito, pagka ito, naubos na itong pinauna ko, then that's it. Pero one person responded. No? Tapos agad, 100 hot silog. So, sabi ko, medyo ginanahan ako. And then, sabi ko sa kapatid ko, let's, let's do one more. No? So, we decided, no, November 16, just four days after the flood, we started the relief operations. This is what I uh, want to share this morning. No? What happened? So, we made a relief, no? Ito yung batch one. 100 hot silog. Hindi talaga si, si sinangag, no? Kundi plain rice. Kasi mahirap lutuin ng sinangag. Hindi nagkamali kami. Mahirap pala lutuin ng itlog. Matagal. <laughs> kasi babatihin mo pa siya. So, matagal siya. So, gumawa kami 100 rice meals agad, no? Tapos, sa so 100 rice meals na yan, hindi lang basta rice meals, kundi iripak mo pa yan. Meron pang kutsara yan. Meron pang ano yan. So, pinaka-importante, um, too big, yun ang kailangan nila. Here's the thing, walang available water. So, kumuha kami ng juice kasi nagkaubusan eh. So, ang ginawa natin, no, nagluto tayo. No, uh, madaling araw pa lang, nagluluto na. Tapos, ito ang pinaka-importante yung nilagay natin doon sa rice meal, face mask. Kasi wala na nagsusot ng face mask. Pero sa panahon na ganito, malilimutan mo na talaga mag-face mask. Kasi, wala kang makain eh. No? So, kailangan muna agad-agad may makakain ka. Here's the thing. Pagbigay natin ng 100 rice meal, isa sa mga kailangan pala nila. Kasi nakita namin, after 4 days, may putik pa sila sa katawan. So, wala silang sabon. So, we bought bar soaps para makaligo sila. Alright? And then, uh, hindi lang yon We also uh, bought shampoo, no? toothpaste, and then, toilet paper. Kasi imagine nyo nga, wala silang ang toilet eh. Kasi wala pang toilet paper. Diba? So, toothbrush. Uh, ano ba ito? Panlaba. 
sabon panlaba, Clorox, no? And sabi ko nga sa inyo, ako mismo na experience ko, kaya alam ko ang kailangan nila mismo. So sa relief batch to natin, nagpamigay tayo ng 100 personal hygiene package. Okay, this is not a, a, a huge operation ah. Kumbaga, this is between us. Kumbaga, kung sino yung gusto magbigay, voluntary, di ba? And meron na naman mga na-excite, nagbigay din. So, sabi ko, mukha mapupuya tayo. <laughs> and then, nagkaroon ng overnight packing. So, gumawa ulit tayo. Ayan yung mga itsura niyan. Ayan na yung exactong ano. For videos, makikita niyo siya doon sa Facebook natin at saka sa YouTube natin. Ang pansin niyo, puro putik pa, di ba? No, yung, 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 yung area. At saka wala silang malapagan ng walang putik. So, pinapila natin. Ang problema, kahit papilahin mo, nagkamali kami kasi dinumog. No? Kasi nga, kailangan-kailangan nila yung pagkain. Ang problema... Uh, hindi kami, nakipag-coordinate kami sa barangay, pero kulang yung tao. So, the following, ano, na natuto kami, mas pinano namin ng, ano, ng mas maganda. No? So, mapapansin nyo, may bata, may matanda. Isang pagkakamali namin, yung bata tsaka matanda, pinagsama namin. The next time, natuto tayo, pinagiwalay natin yung pila ng bata at ng matanda. Good news, the following day, lumabas na sa SM yung tubig, which is yung pinakakailangan-kailangan nila. Kasi kung inom ka ng juice araw-araw, mahirap yun. Iba pa rin ng tubig. So, nakabili na tayo ng tubig, nakabili tayo ng bigas. No, this time, tinanggal natin yung itlog. Kasi mahirap gawin eh. Pinalitan natin ng vegetables. mix vegetables na ilagyan natin ng sayote para sa extender. Okay? So, ito yung mga tumulong sa atin. Yan yung kapatid ko yung nakaharap dito. And then yung mga classmates niya nung high school. Yan, yan sila. Pati yung mga anak nila tumulong din. No? One good thing about dito is that you were able to share to them yung preaching ng giving without preaching. Kasi na-experience sila, yung mga testimonies nila, ganun pala yung pakiramdam na nagbibigay. Imagine mo yung pakiramdam ng Diyos dahil araw-araw siyang nagbibigay. Amen? So, kita niyo naman yung mga itsura nila, putik-putik na yung paa. Kasi nga, nakababad sila sa putik. No, nakakuha pa tayo iba't ibang iba't ibang uh, klase na ng mineral water na kinuha natin. And then I found this man sa Facebook. No, kasi naghahanap pa ako kasi the, the, the badly hit areas are Marikina, San Mateo, and Montalban. So I was looking kasi madami akong classmates sa Marikina, kaibigan kasi nag-aral ako sa Roosevelt. And uh, I was looking for people na pwede ko sana maka-partner. Wala akong makita. No? Meron, pero hindi ko makita yung... Except this man, nakita ko sa Facebook. No? And this guy, kilala ko to eh. Nung high school pa, kaklasik ko to. Sabi ko, kilala ko to ah. Si Vic. Kilala ko yan kasi tuwing after school, lang ipagsuntukan niya sa likod ng skala namin. <laughs> And God is good. Alam niyo kung bakit? Pastor na siya ngayon. Right? Imagine niyo yung... Yung ano, ano, what a good God we have. He's a pastor now serving. At napakasigasig, napakasipag. Kinontak ko siya, sabi ko, Pastor, baka pwede tayong mag, ano, mag, uh, mag-partner. No? And then, sabi niya, yan ang kailangan-kailangan namin, partner. No? Kasi may malaki silang operations sa Montalban. Tapos, hindi lang yon. ang plano natin is to give food for the body. So, since kinonect tayo sa kanya ni Lord, ang dami nilang wisdom for life na, na books na mga, yung mga babasahin na may for spiritual loss. So, aside from that, meron na tayong food for the spirit. Amen? So, balikan natin yung San Mateo. Namili na tayo. No? Namili uli tayo. Namili tayo na namili ulit. At nagluto tayo na nagluto ulit. No? With different uh, ayan, mga, ka, mga kaibigan niya, mga klase niya, in-invite niya para makapagluto uli ng hot silog. So, sabi nila, maraming salamat daw sa ating lahat. So, yan ang itsura, no? This time, hindi lang 100. Pagbalik natin, we came back with a vengeance. 400 na. 400 rice mills na. Kasi ang dami pa lang tao. Okay? Tsaka may bata. No? At uh, since meron na mga nagdagdag, may na nagbigay na, so yun, nag-increase na yung pondo natin. So, right there and then, pag may nagbigay, padala. Pag nagbigay, padala. Ganun agad. 
So, dito, mapansin nyo, raw pictures yan, kung ano yung nangyayari, as it is. No? Ito pa isa ang blessing. You see, ha? when God connects everything, no? He touch a person's, uh, a, 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 a person's heart, no? itong taon na ito, pinahiram yung van niya para maihatid. Kasi ang dami niyan eh. Imagine, paano mo bitbitin yan, di ba? And this time, hiniwalay na natin yung pila na matanda at saka bata. Right? At namimigay na tayo ng trucks na bigay ni Pastor B. So, yan yung nangyari sa Banaba, San Mateo Rizal, at this time dito sa Ampid, San Mateo Rizal. Okay? Pero naman na challenge sa Pilipinas, nagbasag ng alkansya. Okay? You, see, you see how God works. We're not preaching. I never, I never preach anything. This is God preaching in, in deeds. Okay? So, minun may na-challenge, nagbasag ng kalkan siya, nakabili tayo ng, uh, dito sa relief batch for natin, we have 100 for kids, 100 for adults, na 200 personal hygiene package, no? aside from the 400 rice meals. So, ayan yung itsura na no? pinagbibili nila yan. So, yun, kung ikaw yan, makakatanggap ka, yan yung laman ng package mo. Okay? May sonrox, merong face shield, no? merong uh, champion sabon. This time, naglagay tayo ng ano, uh, yung sa tenga, cotton buds, no? so on and so forth. So, tapos, nagdagdag din tayo ng uh, face towel. Kasi kailangan nila yan eh, face towel. At, Nagbigay tayo sa kids. Here's the thing. No? May nagsabi sa akin, hindi ba dapat yung necessity lang agad-agad? Kasi, y- ano eh, bakit kailangan pa tayong bumili ng juice sa bata o ng lollipop sa bata? Here's the thing. I told you, alam ko ang pakiramdam ng binaha. Hindi ka lang physically nagugutom. These are kids. They are affected psychologically mentally, emotionally, no? And a simple joy na bigyan mo sila ng lollipop, no? Will somehow, somehow will give them at least 5 minutes ng euphoria na wala sila doon sa sitwasyon nila yun. And hindi naman tayo nagbayad niyan. Ang nagbayad niyan, yung nagbasag ng alkansya. Amen. So yan yung natanggap ng mga bata. So 100 kids yun. So meron silang loot bag, di parang Jollibee birthday party. Ang saya ng mga bata. Amen. So, yan. Yung tao niya, yung mahabang buhok, asawa yan ng pinsan ko. No? And my cousin, who's only 40 years old, died like two weeks ago. But he's still there, helping these people. At, nakalubog pa yung bahay niya. <laughs> Mapansin nyo, after one week, may tubig pa rin. No? di pa rin pa at putik-putik pa rin ang daan. So, I'd like to thank, nanonood sila ngayon, to Lynn, to MJ Cruz, to Nairin, Jerin, Jeril, Kathy Craft, Nicole Arwen, Randolph, Chanlyongko, maraming salamat sa inyo for partnering with us no, sa napaka-alagang relief operations na to. But wait, there's more. San Mateo pa lang yun. I told you, I will preach not in words, but in actions. Right? This time, we have our relief batch five, 130 packages, Kero Pastor B. Doon sa Montalban, Rizal. November 18, no? may dala-dala na siyang, ang maganda dito kasi, pastor to. May dalang pagkain, may dalang trucks, at nagpe-preach. <laughs> at nagpe-pray. So, complete package to. Masarap partner to. Di ba? Ito, maganda. No nag-release tayo na nag-release ng, ng, ng pictures at videos, hindi, madami ang kumontak sa atin. There was even a person na hindi ko kilala ito matawag sa akin. Sabi niya sa akin, Pastor, nakita ko yung pictures, nakita ko yung videos. Hindi ko kilala. Tapos sabi niya, ano bang phone number mo? And then she sent money no, for these people. Eh, di lang makasa naman ang loob natin, di nagpadala na naman tayo ng pera. Tapos na wala. Tingin lang natin. There you go. So this time, 
hindi na hot silog. Long silog naman ang pinag-iluto <laughs> nila. Longganisa, sinangag, at itlog. Ginugutom tuloy ako. <laughs> yan, yan yung pinakain ni Pastor Vic. No? So, yan, ginamit niya yung truck niya, and then, ito yung itsura ang pinuntahan nila. So, yung team niya, alam niyo kung sino yung team niya? Pamilya niya, mga anak niya, sawat anak niya. Sila-sila namili, sila-sila nag-repack, sila-sila nagluto, sila-sila rin nag-distribute. Ito yung putik-putik pa yung daan. They're praying before they go. And uh, ito yung pila doon sa Montalban, Rizal. Ayan. Ayan yung asawa ni Pastor Vic. So, nagbabahay-bahay din sila. Hindi pinagpipray nila yung mga tao. So, these are, this is one example ng bahay doon na totally wasak. Pansin nyo yung tangki ng tubig, pumasok na sa loob ng bahay. Ayan, nasa gilid na lang sila ng daan kasi nga, wala na silang matuluyan. So, nakabili na naman tayo ng tubig at uh, pinamahagi natin sa kanila. So, for our relief batch number 6, no, we have 200 packages ulit. Kasi ayaw nyo nang, magsi- ayaw nyo nang tumigil magbigay. O di rin tayo titigil magbigay. Diba? So, sila rin, hindi rin tumigil. Kahit pagod na pagod na, since meron tayong pinapadala, gumagawa at gumagawa pa rin sila. So, yan. This time, may tumulong na na ibang mga churches, ibang mga pastors na tumulong sa atin. So, yan. Yan yung tsura nila. Ito yung relief batch 6. Pansin niyo yung saya doon sa kanila habang napapahinga sila at kumakain. Diba? So, tingnan natin. Pakilagyan ng audio, Jai. Ito naman dalaga mo, Jai. Ako. Eh. Ano niya? hindi natin sinasabi. Na galing sa Church of the Nazarene. Hindi natin sinasabi na galing sa LA Film Nas. Sinasabi lang nila galing kay Lord yan. Kasi hindi nga tayo bida-bida. As si Lord lang dapat ang bida. Amen? Yan ang batch number 7 natin na binigay natin noong kahapon, Sabado. No? Binigay natin yan kahapon. And uh, most probably, no, we will have our last batch on Tuesday. So, but, uh, the question is, no, but where do I strike the balance? Diba? How do you know if it is a good, no, a good generosity or you're just being abused? Here's the thing with Christians. No? Be careful. Na, you're, you're, you were called to give. Not just to give, but to give generously. But you need to also be careful and strike the balance. There's a good uh, suggestion of uh, Charles Spurgeon. Sabi niya, when a man can help himself and does not, he deserves to suffer. Hindi ako nagsabi niya si Charles Spurgeon. When a man flings away opportunities by his idleness, and self-indulgence, a measure of suffering ought to be permitted to him as a cure for his vices. That's where we strike the balance. God will give you wisdom when to help or not to help. Amen? It doesn't mean na tumulong tayo sa... Uh, uh, lahat, uh, lahat na ng bagyo, tutulungan natin. Eh, tandaan nyo, I think meron atang... Ano, uh, trentang bagyo sa loob ng isang taon sa Pilipinas. It's a part of life ng buhay natin. But there are times that God Himself will touch your heart and He will instruct you. It's time for you to move and help and give generously. Amen? Life lesson number two. Tell the person next to you, let's carry one another's burdens. Amen? In Galatians 6, 2, carry one another's burdens. In this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Are we talking about the Ten Commandments? That's the Mosaic Law. Are we talking about the 666 commandments were, you know, uh, came out from the Mosaic Law by the Jewish people? Or are we talking about the two simplified commandments of Jesus Christ? That is to love God and to love God. Your neighbor. That is the fulfillment of law. Now, if you carry one another's burden, you were able to manifest your love to God and love for your neighbors. 
and scripture, we see God. No? We see Him as an infinitely strong. Okay? Uh, coming to the aid of the weak. Here's the thing. We too, dapat parehas tayo. No? Though imperfect tayo, we should seek to do the same in whatever context God has placed us. Like the Good Samaritan, if you will remember that story. May we keep our eyes open and hands available to serve the helpless and oppressed. Christians should be a people of attentive eyes and helping hands. Amen. In Philippians 2, 4, it says, Everyone should, not, should look not to his own interest, but rather to the interest of others. While they are, Rabbi binabagi sila, we are safe and sound. May COVID dito, yes. Kanya-kanya struggle sa buhay. May COVID din sila. Pero at least, no? You, 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 umuwi ka sa magandang bahay. Malinis, maganda. Walang, walang tubig, walang putik. Now, if you can help, help. This is Pastor Lorenzo. No? I get to know him. Look at the smile in his face. At yun yung bahay niya. Yung bahay niya, slash church. No? So yung bahay, slash church. Look what happened to his house and his church. Nakalubog sa putik. Wasak yung bahay niya, wasak yung simbahan niya. No? We tried to locate him kung nasaan siya. And then somebody said, Oh, si pastor, nandun sa kabilang barangay. Ano yung ginagawa? Nag-minister. Habang nakalubog ang bahay. I'll be honest with you. Kung ako binaha, paunahin ko yung bahay ko, nalinisan. At ayusin, right? It's, it's just normal. But this person, who is what, almost 80 years old, decided to leave his house and go to the next barangay and preach to the people. These are the pastors. Look at the smiles of sa, sa faces ng mga pastors na to. Pagod yan, madaling araw pa lang. Namimigay na, nagluluto na, nagarepak na. Look at the smiles. Pero may burdens, right? In a sense, no? Coming soon, no, kahapon, nabigay na natin relief batch number 7, 100 care packages sa San Mateo. Sa Tuesday, magpapamigay tayo 300 rice meal sa Montalban. No? Uh, tutulungan natin si Pastor Asenio bumili ng bags of cement for sa simbahan niya para may tayo niya ulit. And then, uh, we will have love gift at treat natin yung sa mga pastor na tumulong na sa ating operation. So, that's the where our last money will go. Here's the thing. Meron pa sila palang nakita na after ng pinatubo, merong group ng aitas na lumikas doon sa Montalban. At par, par, pati sila tinamaan ng baha. So, ang gagawin natin na sa Tuesday, papakainin din natin sila ng rice meal. And then we will share the Word of God doon sa mga kapatid nating ita. Believers in Christ are fellow members of His body. Amen? Which is the church. Tayo yung church. Church is not the building. Church is us. And we should be a church, especially during times like this. All are children of God and all have been born of the Spirit. All have been transferred from the kingdom of darkness, papunta do sa kingdom of His dear Son. All have received eternal life as a gift of free grace. And all have been granted an inheritance that is kept for us in heaven. These are all good words. These are all good things no, that we have now. Each member of Christ's body is accountable to the Lord for the way we live. Amen? But we also are responsible for the attitudes we adopt and the actions we take towards our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. These pastors who helped us that Pastor Lorenzo, who's like almost 80 years old, together with his wife, still ministering in spite of his condition, in spite of his age. No? These are our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a promise that someday I'll go there and personally help them. We each have a responsibility to support and encourage fellow believers and are called to bear one another's burdens and thereby fulfill the law of Christ. The spiritual believer, yung katabi mo at saka ikaw, is one who abides in Christ, obeys His commands, 
honors His name, is growing in grace, and is becoming more Christ-like with every passing day. The more we die to our self-life and live for Christ, the more we mature in our Christian walk, and the more we become Christ-like. Amen. Let me end with this, Romans 15.1. Now, we who are strong have an obligation to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not to please ourselves. Sabi ni Charles Spurgeon ulit, In the end, we will be judged not by the creed we hold, but by the life we live. We have a beautiful creed, making Christ-like disciples in the nations. We have a beautiful creed, holiness unto the Lord. We have, there's a lot of creed. Hindi ko lang mabasa yung, yung mga creed ng mga kapatid nating Koreans. Kung creed at creed lang, sagana tayo dyan. Here's the thing. We will not be judged, not by the creed we hold, but by the life we live. We don't give for us to feel good. Kasi ginagawa rin naman yan ng ano eh, mga artista sa Hollywood eh. They give because they want to feel good. That's not our motive. We give for God to be glorified. Amen? Magkaiba yan. It's a form of worship. In the end, ulitin ko, we will not be judged not by the creed we hold, but by the life we live. Kaya dun sa tanong sa akin kanina, sabi niya, Sir, this was 15 years ago. Sir, bakit ba ang damot ko? It's, <laughs> ang hirap sagutin eh, kasi tungkol sa iyo eh, right? Buti sana kung tinanong mo, Sir, ba't ba ang damot mo? Adi, mas madali kong sagutin kasi tungkol sa akin eh. Pero I realized, while doing this preaching, I realized why, while seeing those pictures and videos, Here's the question. Is this the answer to that question? The antidote for greed is giving. Amen. And allowing Christ to reign in our life. No, sa tagalog, haya mo maghari ang panginoon sa puso mo. Kasi pag naghari ang sarili mo, hindi ka magbibigay kahit kailan. Kasi lagi mong poproteksyonan, lagi mong iisipin ang sarili mo. Pero pag hinayamong maghari ang Panginoon sa buhay mo, no, He will direct you sa tamang pathway. He will change your heart. So umaga na ito, tayo po'y tumayo. Tayo po'y manalangin. Hallelujah. Ati pong iyoko ang ating mga ulo at uh, ipikit ang ating mata. Ating pong pagbulay-bulayan ang salita ng Diyos na pinahagi natin sa umaga na ito. At tayo po ay manalangin. Heavenly Father, our gracious God, we thank you for your teaching us not just to give, but to be a generous giver like you. Thank you, Lord God, that if this is not just something that we read in the Bible. This is something that we do. It's a lifestyle. It's our choice. This is something that we want to manifest in our lives so that your name will be glorified. We don't give, Lord God, because we want to feel good. We want to give because we want to for you to have the pleasure, the glory, Lord God, to lift up your name. We don't give, Lord God, for us to market our church or whatever. We don't give, Lord God, for us to compete with other churches. That is not, that is not our motive, Lord God. Our motive is only focused on your name. And Lord, without you reigning in our hearts, it is impossible for us to give. There will always be greed. There will always be selfish, selfishness, Lord God. But with you I was, as our role model, Lord God, as you reign in our hearts, Lord God, as you reign in our lives, Lord God, thank you. 
Thank you for exemplifying the word giving as you gave your only son for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord God. Lord, with that, there are people who are watching us right now. Lord, we want to accept you. We want to acknowledge, Lord God, that we are sinners, Lord God, and we believe, Lord God, that you died, Lord God, upon the cross for us, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. And we believe that on the third day, Lord God, you rose from the dead and went to heaven, Lord God, to prepare a place for us. We accept you now, Lord God, as our Savior, our Lord, our God, our friend. Come into our hearts, Lord God. Set us free from our sins, Lord. And because you are our Savior, we shall not die but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.